Hi, my name is Jordan Briggs, and we're here to talk about some more bits, barrel racers' favorite things. I've tried to narrow it down to about six. Um, I'm not necessarily an O-ring person. Uh, my husband starts all of our horses in O-rings, and I might just like start them on the pattern at like a trot, get into a lope in an O-ring, but I try to get out of O-ring as fast as possible because I don't like the way they kind of will push down in an O-ring eventually when you start adding speed and more technical aspects of it. And so uh, I try to get out of an O-ring as fast as I can once they kind of learn the pattern and they kind of start to outthink you and anticipate. I feel like you have no control in an O-ring with the shoulders and lifting and collection. And so <clears throat> this is a Carrie Kelly, this is called the glider. Um, normally I'll have a leather chin strap on this, but this is kind of what I'll go to out of an O-ring, just something with some gag, some nice feel. Um, that's not too much, but it starts them to get used to a purchase with the lift and a little bit of the shank. And it's just a, it's a really smooth transition from an O-ring. Um, next is just like, this is a Martha Wright, Ed Martha Wright's lifter, medium shank little lifter bit. Um, this is just like, I feel like this bit fits nearly every person's hand. Um, lots of horses get along with it. I kind of go to this later on to get them used to, like it's just a little bit more purchase and shank than the last bit I showed. And this kind of gets them into the next stage with still that leather chin strap. Um, now that I've talked about that I really like a horse really balanced and square between their shoulders, I'm a really big Mullen fan. And so this is one of my favorite bits that I go to when I'm adding speed. I'm like exhibitioning a three-year-old, going into the run of their four-year-old year. I think the last like couple years I've ran every horse in this bridle through their exhibitions and into their competition year. Um, this is just like a little short shank. The shank is really straight up and down, so you have like a really instant reaction so that they're really light and feely in your hands. This bar back here just gives you a little bit more offset with the chin strap and adds more lift. And then it has the square mullen. And they can kind of, because the shank is so quick and responsive, they can push on this mullen mouthpiece just a little bit so you get kind of like a number feel, but it also, picks their front end up, keeps them really square between their shoulders, and really helps them out when they're in that stage of where they might be running a little too fast for the turn and you get a hold of them. This really brings their shoulders and they can't like float away from you. But it also has the lift if they anticipate you. So I really like this bit um, going into their competition year or into their exhibitions. Um, I like a nose band. Um, I don't like a horse that gets their nose out and really pushes down. And so like I like my hackamore, I really like a, a combination bridle. So this bit and this bit are both made by the No Hit Bit Company. Uh, great people. This has a little, has a lot of swoop in the shank. It's not quite as quick of a response as this one but I have a longer shank, more lift, and then again, they can still kind of like push on this mouthpiece so you can kind of keep them in your hands a little bit. And then with that nose band, it really has a good feel of not letting one push down on you and coming around the turn really good, the backside feel is really good. So I run quite a bit of horses in this bridle also. And just bridles, I feel like, are up to people's hands. You might be heavy-handed and you need lighter bits and you might get along with an O-ring. Or if you're really light-handed, like I like ported chain bridles so that I can have a lot of feel without moving my hands very much. I'm kind of a person that over-bridles more than I would under-bridle a horse because I like quick resist, quick act, quick reaction, and uh, I don't really want to ever pull very hard.